Following our exploration of Sahelanthropus, the potential first whisper of our human story in Chad, our journey through deep time now takes us eastward to the ancient lands of Kenya. Here, amidst the geological wonders of the Tugan Hills, lies evidence of another pivotal player in our evolutionary saga, a creature that lived approximately six million years ago. This is Aurorin tugenensis, and its discovery has added another fascinating layer to our understanding of the very first steps taken on the long road to humanity. This is Ancient Africa Chronicles, where we delve into the stories from the cradle of humankind. If you are captivated by the dawn of our species, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing for more glimpses into Africa's extraordinary past. In this episode, we focus on the first steps in Africa, examining the fossil evidence of Aurorin, a hominin whose remains offer compelling insights into the early development of bipedalism. The Tugan Hills, a region steeped in geological history, have yielded a treasure trove of fossils, offering a window into millions of years of life on this continent. It was here, in the late 20th and early 21st centuries, that a team of French researchers, led by Brigitte Senoux and Martin Pickford, made a series of remarkable discoveries. Amongst the fragmented remains of various ancient creatures, they unearthed pieces of a hominin that would challenge prevailing ideas about how and when our ancestors first began to walk upright. The most significant find associated with Aurorin is a collection of femoral fragments, parts of the thigh bone. It is in the intricate details of this bone structure that the story of bipedalism begins to emerge. The neck of the femur, the part that connects to the hip joint, is elongated and possesses a thick layer of compact bone on its upper side. This is a characteristic feature of bipeds, indicating adaptations for bearing weight on a single leg during upright walking. Unlike the femora of quadrupedal apes, which are typically more slender and lack this specific reinforcement, the aurorin femur suggests a creature whose primary mode of terrestrial locomotion may have involved striding on two legs. This is a crucial piece of the puzzle, hinting that bipedalism might have evolved earlier and in a different way than previously thought. Imagine Aurorin, standing perhaps just over a meter tall, moving with a gait that was likely more efficient for traversing open ground than that of its more ape-like contemporaries. While still retaining adaptations for climbing trees, evidenced by curved finger bones that suggest a grasping ability, its skeletal structure indicates a significant investment in upright walking the environment in which Aurorin lived was a diverse mix of dry tropical forest and more open savanna-like areas. <laughs> this transitional habitat may have provided the selective pressures that favored the development of bipedalism. The ability to move efficiently across both types of terrain would have been a distinct advantage, allowing access to a wider range of food resources and offering a better chance of spotting predators in the more exposed grasslands. Beyond the crucial femoral fragments, the aurorin discoveries also include several teeth and jaw fragments. These provide further clues about its diet and its place within the hominin family. The teeth exhibit a combination of primitive and more derived features. 
The molars have thicker enamel than those of earlier apes, suggesting a diet that included harder food items, perhaps nuts and seeds gathered from the savanna. The canines, while larger than those of later hominins, are smaller and less pointed than those of many contemporary apes, hinting at a potential shift in social behavior and reduced reliance on canine display. <laughs> the social dynamics of Aurorin remain largely a mystery, but it is plausible that, like many primates, they lived in small, cohesive groups. Cooperation in foraging and predator avoidance would have been crucial for survival in this challenging environment. The potential reduction in canine size might also suggest a move towards less aggressive forms of social interaction, although this remains speculative. The discovery of Aurorin has significantly complicated our understanding of early hominin evolution. For a time, the relatively complete skeleton of Lucy, an Australopithecus afarensis specimen dating to around 3.2 million years ago, was considered the primary example of early bipedalism. However, the evidence from Aurorin, which is almost 3 million years older, suggests that upright walking may have evolved independently or in parallel lineages much earlier in our history. The debate surrounding the exact place of Aurorin in the hominin family tree continues. Some scientists argue that its unique combination of features places it directly on the lineage leading to modern humans making it a more direct ancestor than Australopithecus. Others contend that it represents an early independent branch of the hominin tree, an evolutionary experiment that ultimately did not lead to Homo sapiens. Regardless of its precise position, Aurorin provides invaluable evidence that bipedalism was a key adaptation that arose relatively early in our evolutionary history, potentially in a more woodland mosaic environment than previously envisioned. It highlights the fact that the path to becoming human was not a simple linear progression but a complex and branching affair, with multiple species exploring different evolutionary strategies. Six million years have passed since Ororin walked these lands. The fragmented fossils discovered in the Tugan Hills offer us a tantalizing glimpse into a pivotal period when our ancestors were taking their first tentative steps towards becoming the creatures we are today. Ororin Tugenensis, the original man of the Tugan Hills, stands as a powerful reminder of the long and intricate journey of human evolution, a journey that began right here in Africa. As we continue to explore the fossil record, each new discovery adds another brushstroke to the ever-evolving portrait of our origins, revealing the incredible story of how we first began to walk on two legs in this remarkable continent. <laughs>